class of 2019, thank you so much for bestowing this honor upon me. To receive an honor is one thing, to receive it from a university that is known for its inclusivity and diversity and values and the first of many um, is a great honor and for that I am grateful. As you go about your life today, especially the graduates, <laughs> You, and as you go about your dreams and your ambitions and your plans, you will get two kinds of answers from people as I have. They are the people who will believe in you and tell you, yes, you can. And they are the people who will tell you it cannot be done. For whatever reason, you don't have the experience, the money, culture, family, society, politics, whatever reason. I got both answers. Unfortunately, the latter is the majority and those who believe in you is gonna be the minority. Had I listened to everyone who told me you cannot do it or it cannot be done, I would not be standing in front of you today. I would not have started Women for Women International at the age of 23. I would not have led to the distribution of $146 million to women survivors of wars, and I would not have created TV shows for Arab and Muslim women that impacted millions of women. The journey taught me that the world we are living in is a product of our imagination. All we need to do is claim our imagination and have the courage to venture out of our comfort zones and dare to make the impossible possible. I had grown, I had grown up in Iraq, as was mentioned earlier, in a time where freedom of expression was squelched. When I found myself in the US as a young bride, months before the Gulf War, life was not easy. I had escaped what ended up being an abusive marriage I had only $400 in my pockets. I was a new immigrant in a country that was in war, at war with my own country, Iraq, while my family were there. Life was not easy, but over time I came to learn that misfortunes often lead to fortunes. And that I should judge not the circumstances I went through, but the stories of kindness and love and support I received from people in the process, all kinds of people. Mostly, I came to appreciate and cherish the meaning of freedom, the freedom to express oneself and the freedom to be who you are. Ever since I have not taken freedom for granted, it is a precious value that comes with responsibilities to act and to use for good. You happen to live in a country and in a place that honors such value. Make sure to honor it within yourself as well. The freedom to live your dreams is not only given to you from outside, it's actually freedom is equally an inside job. So when I heard of atrocities taking place against women in countries that I've never heard before or actually never visited, I couldn't just stand by and watch the news. And joining the demonstrations, frankly, was not enough either. I felt I had a responsibility to do something, and that doing was not because I am of certain culture or religion or color or gender. That responsibility came out of the belief that this is my duty as a human being. For I believe when we avoid acknowledging and hearing and doing something about injustice, we legitimize it, and we allow for the corruptions of our own values. And I also learned to be that in the process that when we are in service for the larger humanity, we are equally in service for the humanity within each and every one of us. Never stand by waiting for someone to save you or permit you to live your truth. Change happens when individuals dare to be, to speak, to create, 
to dream, to play, to give the best out of yourself to this world. This is not always easy, so I don't want to sugarcoat it for you here, but it is always possible. If I, an immigrant woman from Iraq, could start a venture, not one, but two, one in the humanitarian world and one in the media world, from scratch with no jobs, no, no job experience, no money, no family even to support you, to support me, could reach out to millions of women and mobilize them socially, economically, politically, so can each one of you. Believe me, you can do whatever you are set, your heart is set to do. Now, dare to venture into this world and make the impact you want to impact. Sometimes you will succeed and sometimes you will be challenged. Judge none but be present to both. You will come to appreciate that challenges and even failures make you more grounded and humbler, while the success or successes make you more ambitious and daring. Both are needed and both are important if you see them this way. You will free yourself from the chains of fear into the freedom of becoming who you are meant to be in this world. Finally, whatever you do, as you set about a new chapter in your life, make sure to have fun. Make sure to dance and dance and dance until the end. And if you ever feel a moment of despair, just know that hope will always triumph. And if you ever feel a moment of sadness, know and believe that love is always bigger than all. So congratulations and good luck in your journey. And thank you.